G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a really quick video looking at the concept of perimeter. Uh, the perimeter, the distance around the outside of a shape. Okay, so without much further ado, let's just launch straight into it. So say you were asked to work out the perimeter of this shape here, okay? And I'll draw one for you right now. A lovely little rectangle. Fairly rough one, but it will suffice. So say I asked you to work out the perimeter of this, and this side here, we measured up and it was five centimeters and this side here was three centimeters so the way that you would go to work out the perimeter is we want to work out the distance around the outside of the shape okay so the total distance of this side plus this side plus this side plus this side so the first step is you put on the unknown side so we have this side here written down and we have this side here written down but there's two sides we don't know but it's fairly simple because a rectangle we're going to see here, this length is here, is the same as this length here, so this is 5 centimetres. And this length here is the same length as this length here, so this is 3 centimetres. And the perimeter, so the perimeter is the total distance around the outside, so it equals as follows. It equals, and I'll, usually what I'd do is I'd actually mark on this and I'd head in a particular direction. I like to head in a clockwise direction when I do this but it's really really worth marking on. So first off we have five centimeters plus three centimeters plus five centimeters plus three centimeters. Okay this is all centimeters. So five plus three plus five plus three and we get the answer of 5, 8, 13, 16. And this is in centimetres. Really important you put that unit down. And that's how you work out the perimeter. Just add them up. Really good little hint though to mark on where you started. And you possibly, if you get really stuck with them, mark on the lines as you are adding them. So anyway, what about we do a different type of shape? Let's work out the perimeter of the following. Um, so what about I do this shape here which is a triangle. Okay now I'll put some distances on this. This side here is seven centimeters. This one here I'm going to use a bit of a nasty one. I'm going to uh, change this one to uh, 75 millimeters and this one here is four centimeters. Now we have all the sides here now, you'll notice this, but we have a problem and this is this. We actually have are using centimeters in a couple of our measurements and millimeters in one. So the second step after getting all the side lengths is making sure all the units are of the same type. So this should be in centimeters. What you may remember from uh, other videos we made is that one centimeter is 10 millimeters okay so that's what it's equal to so you might even have that little table the way we work that out the little diagram uh, but literally what we're going to have to do is we have to divide this answer by 10 so this becomes we're going to get rid of that there and this is going to become 7.5 centimeters okay so the perimeter is going to be just all these sides added together. So starting here, and I'm going to go in this clockwise direction. So I'm going to add 7, 7.5 and 4. So the perimeter equals 7 plus 7.5 plus 7.5, 4. And we add these together. This is all going to be in centimetres. 7 plus 7.5 is 14.5 plus 4 is 18.5 centimetres. Okay, how did you go with that? Now, I'm just going to put one last shape up here and it's going to be a bit more of a difficult shape this time. So the shape we're going to put up is it's not going to be too difficult, I won't make it too crazy, but it's going to look like this. Okay, 
okay and I'll put the sides on these now I'll put some sides on that are unknown just to, to, to vary this up because this is another type of problem you might get given so say this one here is seven centimeters this one here is actually I'll, I'll write that I'll write that like this is so seven centimeters this one here is uh, three centimeters I'm sorry this is not the scale this one here is four centimeters this one here is six centimeters and you're given this to work out the perimeter now first off what we do is we make sure all sides are on so we have this side we have this side we don't have this side so it's worth marking it so sort of go around and check that you have them so you have this one you don't have this one so mark it this one we have this one we have this one we don't so mark it and this one we do have okay so let's work out the ones we don't know now look there's a bit of a trick for doing this and first off we want to know this one here from here to here so the way that we do this is as follows we know that from here to here is 7 and from here to here is 6 so this one is one more centimetre than this one here and this extra bit would total the distance so this one here plus this one here would be equal to 7 so this one's 6 so it makes this one here one centimetre okay we have this other one down here okay and we know that this one's as big as three and four centimeters put together so this one is seven centimeters so now we have all our sides we can add them they're all the same unit so everything's good there let's work out the perimeter so i'm going to start here and i'm just going to basically jot them down as i see them so it equals three plus one plus four plus six plus seven Plus seven, so we're going to be adding all of these, and that's all going to be in centimeters. Okay, so three plus one is four, plus four is eight, plus six is fourteen, plus seven is twenty-one, plus seven equals twenty-eight centimeters. So how'd you go with those? Hopefully you're pretty good with the idea of perimeter. So perimeter, just the distance around the outside. And there's just a few little tricks that I've given you there of things you might get asked when you're asked to work out perimeter. I hope there was some help. Thanks a lot. See you next time.